Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Laborowit, and I want to share with you some things I learned using the Ingenuity 3D visualization system. I'm a consultant for Alcon. This is me in my operating room, and you can see the setup where I'm sitting comfortably operating, looking at the monitor, 55 inch monitor, six feet away. Uh, no longer handcuffed to the oculars, this is me in the operating microscope where I had to be in a certain position within six inches from the, the uh, oculars. It required me to sit forward. My elbows and wrists were somewhat limited uh, in positioning and certain patients made it more challenging due to the way they looked. So now I'm uncuffed from the oculars. I can sit back and in any position I need to. Here I'm you know, more like 16 to 30 inches from the microscope. Here's the comparison of how I operate. You can see my back position as well. And this is the overall setup of the OR. This is a case where I'm sharing uh, the femtosecond uh, use during a case with a 3D ingenuity. I'm opening the AKs to reduce the astigmatism. You can see as I'm working in the cornea, you can see the entire depth of focus of the lens. So I'm not constantly zooming in or out or focusing through in different areas. I can keep it in one position and see the different tissue planes necessary. This becomes most powerful while I'm working in the nuclear component of the cataract, seeing the front and back of the lens. Again, you can see the anterior capsule and in the bottom corner you can see that air bubble, which is obviously the posterior capsule as well. I had to use some tripan blue in this case because of uh, certain cortical changes. For me, my first instrument inside the eye is placing viscoelastic, and then I'm using uh, the cannula from the viscoelastic to then lift up the anterior capsule. I personally visco-dissect to the equator 270 degrees. I find freeing up these anterior adhesions uh, allow for me to no longer need to rotate the lens in femtosecond cases. It also has the pneumodissection posteriorly, uh, freeing up any posterior adhesions. So my next instrument into the eye is the phaco tip. Because the nuclear component was broken into the 24 pieces, I just remove a central bowl. You can see there's a digital cockpit, so I think this is really the tip of the iceberg with technology. So while I'm operating, I can see my FACO settings and usage and CDE as well. It gives me confidence in visualization. So the software is really doing a lot of work behind the scenes with the Ingenuity system. So in this case, um, too much light would actually make it more difficult and wash out the image. So they're optimizing the image and you can see how nice I can see centrally as I'm removing and working in the nuclear area uh, whereas I can also see the conj and the white square underneath as well. So I've bowled out the lens and now I'm in my use with femtosecond I'm very aggressive with my second instrument and because I have extended depth of focus I'm more confident as I'm reaching in certain areas I can see where my instrument is I'm very aware of the posterior capsule or position uh, and where the anterior capsulotomy was created especially because it was so consistent in the femtosecond treatment but having this extended depth of focus can really allow me to have better visualization to be more aggressive with my second instrument during surgery. As half the lens is removed, you can start to see more clearly the posterior capsule and red reflex and how the software starts to adjust the lighting to optimize the image with ingenuity. It's interesting while I'm operating that I'm looking at a 55 inch monitor, everything it's just magnified much larger as you're working. Sometimes with the advanced visualization in the 3D, 
you almost see too much. So as I'm doing INA and I'm removing the cortical material, I'll see sawdust on the interior capsule that I have to polish off. And it also optimizes visualization of the posterior capsule so I can better polish these areas to best remove any remaining cortical material that might impact visualization after surgery by the patient through the visual axis. I sped up this segment to just keep the video moving along, but this is a 90 degree tool I use for sub incisional removal. Notice that I did not have to zoom in or adjust focus during the entire case because of the extended depth of focus um, provided. Also, uh, during the surgery in the nuclear component, I'm often looking at the CDE to give me some feedback that might impact some decision making while I'm operating. The aura is fully integrated, so my screen becomes split and then I'm still working off the same monitor. Even though I'm wearing 3D glasses, the aura is not in 3D and it's not necessary for that component. So without skipping to a different monitor, I'm still looking at my same monitor of ingenuity. I zoomed in here to uh, allow me to avoid showing patient data. It's nice during lens insertion to sometimes shift my shoulders and elbows to allow me to line up with the primary incision for insertion and then be able to angle down without distorting the cornea because my eyes don't have to be locked in at the microscope and I can sit anywhere as long as I can see the 55 inch monitor which is about four to six feet away from where I'm sitting. I'm also more confident to, when necessary, go under the IOL to remove viscoelastic since I can see clearly all the depth within the anterior chamber. I sped the video up to show hydration of the primary and secondary wound, confirming it's water seal tight. And next is placement of anterior chamber moxifloxacin. And then since I do drop free cataract surgery, I then place 0.15 cc's of Kenalog 8 millimeter supranasal to the Limbus. I move the needle back and forth to confirm I'm not in square or muscle before placing the medication. So just to summarize some of the tools that are impacting surgery. Behind the scenes, not during the case, but you can adjust the temperature. You can see here there's thumb now images of different hues showing more red, more blue. Then I can also change from xenon to halogen. Uh, it's all in the software and the imaging. If I'm ever concerned I don't lose focus as I zoom in. So there's times where you might be worried during a capsulotomy. And so here I'm zooming in on the capsulorexis and I can see great detail as I'm doing this. And I keep emphasizing the ability to see the entire depth of the lens. So here's just showing, you can see the anterior capsule cuts, but then you can also see the air bubbles posterior as well. It's a wonderful teaching tool. I teach a femtosecond laser cataract surgery course. Here's uh, several uh, third year residents watching a case. Also the aura is fully integrated.
and I can use it for toric alignment as well on the monitor. Thank you and I hope you can use this information in your practice as well.